Hey, what's up guys? Ben here. Welcome back to another RDR2 video. Um, last video, we helped out the uh, Wapiti Indians or whatever. Uh, I think we got a couple more quests to do. We just went for John. And we told him that like, when things go south, he should keep running and never look back. I don't know where he's going to run, or how he isn't being hunted by Pinkertons, but you know what, he'll do him. Actually, was he a part of the Blackwater robbery? They said that he was gone for a year, right? So, I'm, so I think he was gone throughout the period of the robbery, maybe? I don't know. But if, if he was gone throughout the period of the robbery, it would make sense about why he, he could escape when the rest of us can't. Maybe he's just not at far, he's not too deep, yet. Um, the Braithwaite man, I'll, I'll go there. Whoa, too much activity. What do you mean by that? God damn you. Oh, there's a wagon. Oh. Well, oh, hello, Brightway Manor. Whoa, corpse. Well, let's go check the corpse out. Oh, I didn't know that the uh, Catherine Braithwaite or whatever run in. It is. Catherine's brooch. Wait, I actually got something out of it? Huh. Well, I'll be. Now, I'm pretty sure this uh, burning of the entire house was probably when Dutch started going uh, backwards, if you will. Alright. Could have just taught her a lesson, but I. Like, we burned down the whole goddamn house. I mean, we didn't burn down, like, the village. We didn't, like, exterminate the Braithwaites or whatever, but, like... Okay, well, maybe it was reasonable, alright? I suppose it's debatable if it was reasonable or law. Not. I forgot to get bullets! Okay, well, No! No! Get to the map, stupid. Okay, so I have something to do with Sadie Adler. Goodbye, dear friend. I don't like the name of that. Oh, Tr Trelawney. I thought it was Tilly. I'm gonna go do... Uh, I'm gonna... Uh, speak with Strauss. And then I'm gonna get uh, Drosiah Trelawney. And then I'll do Sadie Adler. Uh, right before going to the gunsmith and stuff. Right after I, I go into the gunsmith and get everything I mean, my bullets and all. Oh, oh, you came, you came, you finally came. I came. Oh, thank you, thank you, you lovely, lovely man. Uh, calm down, miss. Oh, come on, let's go. We ain't got a minute to lose. They killed her. They killed Miss Calhoun. All she wanted was a better lot for oh. women, and they killed her, those pigs. Who killed her? I don't know. 
my cousins probably, or, or bows. Well, you met them, they are animals. Not even animals, monsters. Monsters, if God had lost all his powers of imagination. Can you, can you please take me to the train station? Bo will be waiting. Bo, why couldn't he come and rescue you? Well, if they saw me and him together, they'd lynch him and send me off to a nunnery. Or maybe they'd lynch us both, I ain't quite sure. They do so love hanging folk. Where are you heading? Up to Boston. Good. Yeah, I like you up there. Come on. Let's go. Of course. I'm in your hands. Just get me to Rhodes Railway Station. Okay. Let's try and get you a Judging train. from the, uh... Bo's just waiting at the station. Judging from the, uh, picture that was on here. Show up to help you show up. He goes to there every day he can. Makes up some excuse or other. I said he would see me there one day soon, and today he will. God willing. Well, well. If he's there, that's true love, all right. I've hardly seen him since the rally. They watched me so carefully, and he's waited, or... Well, there's probably so going to be a fight say, on the station won't let once we get out. there. And then all that Judging business from the with picture. Aunt Catherine and my cousins. <sighs> you saw the house. And then Lee Gray and those boys killed. <sighs> so much bloodshed. I, I, you'd think this could be a new... You're telling me I have to go up and down. No, no, no. I can't just go straight over. Screw you. I'm going straight over. Beginning, but everyone left alive. They're even more angry. Maybe anger's a complicated thing to let go of. Something good has to come out of this awful, awful feud. That's what I've been hoping. Bo and I have to be better. Our families were here for years and years. Sometimes I feel like we can't just leave death and, and pain and ruination behind us. There he is. Oh, it's him. Will you ride on the train with us a little, just to the first stop? Fine. We're going to get a, in a fight, aren't we? You came. Oh, Bo, my sweet, my best of men. <laughs> oh, I'm hardly a man at all. But I love you. Someone's coming, aren't right they? <sighs> Sir, how can we ever repay your kindness? Mm, some of them jewels would do just fine. Bo, Arthur's gonna join us. I think we need the support. Please, could you buy the tickets, dear Mr. Morgan? We, we can't chance being seen. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. We'll meet you on the platform. Can I have three tickets to San Denis, please, sir? Hello. Of course. Uh, oh, hello, sir. Hello, Alden. I hope all is well. Uh, not terribly, but good to see you. Hey. Uh oh. Excuse me, Alden. Get on the train. Get your bags, miss. I got this. Come here, Yankee. With pleasure, you goddamn fool. You want to come back here without giving you a whip? Yo, 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 I can't, I can't use my guns to pistol whip him. Get on the train, folks. Throw your wolf. Four fists and maybe one brain. No, 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 no. No 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 You fat ass you're gonna die You're gonna die you're gonna die You're all dead It was nothing Whoa, thou I so blocked that. Nah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You get it. And then you get it. Nah, 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 nah. Nah, get out of here. Just because you're fat don't mean you're strong. Die. Oh, 
No, I blocked that. I so clicked block. What the? Oh, oh, I have to press Y to enter the train. No, I can't just get, I can't just step on it. Quite a family you got there, son. I know. Charming to the last. Then again, my uncle used to keep his own half-brother as a slave. So, what do you expect? Good manners? My uncle used to say things were better the way they were when he could rape and kill with impunity and he didn't have to work a day in his life. Both our families. There's good people in this county, but our families bullied them and drove most of them off. Whites as well as blacks, all over this silly feud. Yeah. Well, how to life. Oh, my lord. What? Oh, I think it's my second cousin. What is with it with all these goddamn cousins? I think they found out about the jewels. All right, keep your heads down. I'll deal with this. Jewels? I... They're coming from over the hill. You must have all the jewels in the state, the amount of... Chase El Bozo. Pistol cartridges, where? Look! Is that the driver? He's abandoning us! Hold tight, all right? I'll take a look up front. What will you do? I'll figure it out. Driver! Driver, we're in the clear! Time to start this train again! Damn it, you did run. Remind me to rob your train, Mr. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's a train! Wonder how much this will sell for? Probably not much, since uh, it's on the rails, but... Yeah, let's see how you're gonna chase... Holy son of a toe! Hello, Bison. How are you? Doing well? I hope so. Today is a great day. Because I just beat the frick out of the Greys and the Brave Blades. Seems that uh, killing their entire uh, 
kill killing the entirety of the police in their town and burning down their entire mansion wasn't enough for them. So now they want to get into a fight over a couple thousand dollars in duels. In terms of family uh, economics, great idea. In terms of self-preservation, terrible idea. Oh, we're driving to Rig Station. So I guess the bell is for when we stop and the whistle is for when we start. Oh, it's this place, isn't it? Like, oh, I swear I've been here like a lot. Isn't this the place where our reverend was? I better get a gold for this. I swear, if it requires you not to be hit at all. It's best you go on alone from here. Mr. Arthur, I didn't know you could drive a train. Neither did I. <laughs> but if I'm honest, it was kind of fun. <laughs> and I didn't kill any of us. Well, I killed some of your relatives, but they would have killed all of us. You are a gentleman, sir. <laughs> oh, no, I ain't. Yes, you are. Here, I ain't got much money, but these sapphires are worth a lot of money. Old family heirloom. That Braithwaite treasure. Nah, you guys keep I it. I couldn't take it. No. Let's get you off to Boston before any more of your relatives show up. That might be wise. Might be a unique hey, item. You I don't want. Yeah. This couple is heading up north to the Boston line. They got money, they'll pay you on arrival. That work for you? Yeah, sounds fine. Get on in. Hey, yeah. Uh, you carry protection on a journey like this? I wouldn't be much of a stage driver if I didn't. Goes everywhere I do. Hey! Oh. Miss Braithwaite is gonna hold on to this until arrival. Hmm? On account of the treasure on your person. I don't know how to thank you. Uh -huh. You're a fine man, sir. Just get out of here. Don't I have like a couple oh, cattlemen yeah. that I like don't yeah. use at all? What do you mean, seven minutes, 30 seconds? Got seven minutes, 30 seconds, definitely. Screw you. How did I head from here to... Oh, yeah, okay, yeah, the, the train line. Then I think it crossed over here or... No, no, it's, it stopped here? No, that was the huge overpass. Where did they stop chasing us? Yeah, they probably stopped chasing us around like here, and then I... Flat neck station. What an excellent name, I have to say. Peak naming capabilities. All right. Peak naming capabilities. Oh, of course, yeah, mm-hmm. Oh. Really? Really? You think this is fun? Swear to God. 
You know, I, I just love how Arthur casually takes the entire campsite out of his bag. To go to Beaver Hollow. I, th I remember I said something about confronting Strauss. It said confront Strauss on the uh, on the bottom. So what are we confronting him about? I'll do the uh, stress thing later. I'll do the. Uh... Oh, I forgot. Josiah Trelawney. Yes, I remember correctly. Not 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 Tilly Jackson. Oh oh hey Tilly. Tilly Jackson. Yeah, it was, it was Tilly Jackson, right? Josiah. Josiah? I, um, I was, uh... Leaving again? Yes, just leaving. I'll see you soon. <coughs> Perhaps. Uh, what do you mean? Well, if I was you, I'd disappear too. This is all pretty much over. But I'll be back. No, you won't. Let's not pretend no more. Get out of here. I'll miss you, Arthur. You've been a fine friend to me. No, no, let's not get over sentimental. Come on, the place is quiet. Get out of here. Go with my blessing. Thank you, Arthur. That's it? <sighs> Found a friend looking for you. Mr. Morgan. Sir. How are you? A little better. I hope so. How can I help you? I'm sorry to impose on you again, but I believe I've made progress brokering peace. You have? I believe so. Colonel Favors has agreed to a meeting to discuss and maybe resolve his... Doesn't sound like... Now, he has lied to me more times than I care to remember. But maybe this time, he must want peace. Why could he possibly want to humiliate us further? Well, we got words for his kind, but... They're colloquial. Uh, perhaps I could make one last request. My men are not allowed to carry arms. You want us to keep the peace? Yeah, it'll be a lot of dull talking and ceremony. But I feel with some non-tribe members present, their chances of lying or worse will be reduced. Will you, Arthur? It ain't my business, brother. No, I know. But it is mine. Do it for me. Charles, I got it. I've saved your life. Do it for me. <sighs> sure. Come on. You owe this man. You should have him do your negotiation. Let's go. Yes, what could possibly be a better idea than having wanted criminals who are wanted dead or alive in the entirety of Saint Denis and Ans Ansburg, and, and has a bounty of a combined bounty of at least 10 or 20, 30,000 in three different states, has the Pinkertons on them to negotiate with the army, you know, the above the laws. 
wish we could have done more to control the situation. What a great idea. Dutch should not have gotten but, involved. You know what, whatever. My son has a mind of his own. Too much so, in fact. I just hope Colonel Favors can be reasoned with. I am not asking for very much, but when our people are sick and hungry, and we find our medicine and supplies are being deliberately withheld, how can we not view that as something personal? When they destroy our sacred sites, how can I convince Eagle Flies and the others that they shouldn't fight back? Maybe that's part of the reason they're doing these things. Because they want you to fight. To be able to say, look, you see how these savages behave? Perhaps. Thank you for helping Captain Monroe to retrieve those vaccines, Arthur. He will be at the meeting and is one person who knows the true situation at least. I still have hope that we can come to an agreement. Well, that's pretty uh hopeful. Yeah, probably even a bit naive. I mean, there's like no way anything good is happening here. As long as I don't get into a shootout with the army, I'm happy. Okay, hopefully this is just in, out, done. Because murdering a colonel, well, that doesn't get in the entire army on our backs. I don't know what will. We might as well massacre the, you know, like an entire state. Kill the president. Uh, that you shouldn't do. actually do these things. Don't. I'm just in, in game. All right, all right, uh, in game. All right, I'm just saying, this is this is probably definitely a bad idea. God damn it, Arthur, you're not funny. Controller, you're not funny. Controller, you're not funny. This isn't funny. You're not funny. Work. Yeah, exactly. Controller. Let Arthur stay close. This way. Oh, we are having uh, tribe members. Uh, oh, yeah. Okay, you just marching into enemy camp. Confidently. Stupidly. But most importantly, the, the, the confident part is the most important. Slow. I don't feel safe ah. leaving my Arabian here. Alright, I have like 50 pieces of ammo, 55 pieces of ammo, something like that. Should be enough to get into a shootout and get out. Colonel Favors, Captain Munro, we come in peace. Hello again. Who are these two? They're uh, friends of my people. Hmm. Interesting looking fellows. You know, they won't cause any trouble. Well, I should hope not. <laughs> Listen, Mr... Um... <laughs> Chief. Yes, uh, Mr... I can't say that silly name. Okay, then. In English, they call me Rain's Fall. Yes, yes, I'm mine. Uh... I'm sure they do. <laughs> Listen, we're all Americans here. And we want an outcome. But quite frankly... Quite frankly, I am confused. Your men are little more than criminals, in my opinion. Keep breaking peace treaties oh, we've made, causing disturbances in everybody's lives. But I pride myself on being a gentleman. Really, I do. But there are limits. So let me be very... You okay, man? Someone. Jackson, take him away. Where was I? You're a gentleman with limits? Are you being facetious, sir? Come this way, buddy. I said, are you being facetious, Captain Monroe? No, sir, I am not. Chief Reigns. That's, uh, Reigns' fault. Exactly. 
Chief Rains, the thing it's quite is, a cough. The federal government. Sure. Wait here. I'll fetch you some water. I'll, I'll be fine. Thank you. No, no. You know he's going to have Monroe court martialed. Or attempt to. He's going to make a disgrace of him. Monroe? He seems likable enough for a West Pointer. Why? You know what Favors is like. Because he thinks it's right. Because he thinks Monroe is a patsy. Or a spy. He's convinced he had something to do with those vaccines getting stolen. He thinks Monroe is going to force him into making a concession with the Indians. So he removes Monroe. Removes how? Favors wants him tried for treason and hanged. Why does Favors care about the Indians? Because he doesn't want to back down. I mean, his whole professional life. You know what they say about him. High tail Favors. The man who missed a battle. Poor Monroe. Kind of liked him. I know. Well, still, he's kind of stuck up. Your men violated the treaty. That treaty is null and void. I have been appointed to negotiate... Feeling better? Yeah. Come on. <coughs> Let's go. <coughs> the lands you currently occupy belong to the United States government. Why is this so confusing, sir? Why? Good day, Colonel. Well, that was remarkably unproductive. <clears throat> I'm afraid the federal government was quite clear, Colonel, that it wanted peace, and peace for all, and that the treaty had not been broken by anybody. Oh, is that so, sir? And did it want impudence, sir, from a junior officer in public? Was that its plan, too, sir? You insult me. You insult the regiment. Arrest and you will be tried for treason. Gross insubordination. Disobeying an order. Treason. Are you mad? You had those vaccines stolen. You disrupted a negotiation. Let him go. This is all getting out of hand. All right, Captain Monroe, let's get out of here. Aye, if aye. I were you, I'd keep my mouth shut, amigo. I don't want to kill this man, but shall. Get away with this. Charles, Captain Monroe, mount up now. We're getting out of here. Time to get out of here. Come on. Don't be dumb. Get off me. I got a shot. Open fire. <laughs> Yeah, I see enough for an escape. And I didn't want to kill the guy. I I, I had him in a chokehold because uh, that that guy got me. that guy wasn't like terrible. Also, it's sort of my fault that uh, that all of this happened. Haha! 
How bozo. Double kill. Well, a truce no longer. That just happened. I've been an army man my whole life. I heard them talk. They was gonna have you hang for treason. You can't die for those fools. And what about the chief? We'll do what we can. Man, I guess I won't be submitting my report. I wouldn't think so. Well, humor to the situation is always good. Most of the time. Or it's like really dark. Like don't try to add humor if your friend just died. Captain Monroe. I fear it may be Mr. Monroe from now on. I'm sorry about your career. Here. Here's some money. You take it and get out of here and start a new life somewhere. I hear Tahiti's nice. Thank you. Just hop on a train to San Denis, jump on a boat, but avoid Guam. Where? Forget about it. I think you would avoid the everywhere near Cuba uh, in this time period. Mr. Morgan, are you okay? Well, never better. What are you doing here? Well, I'm on my way down to Mexico. They're finally sending me on a mission. Huh. Brother Dorkins is very jealous. <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong? I'm, uh, I'm dying, sister. Okay. Yeah, I got TB. I got it. Beating a man to death <clears throat> for a few bucks. I've lived a bad life, sister. We've all lived bad lives, Mr. Morgan. We all sin. But I know you. No, I like you her. don't know me. Forgive me, but that's the problem. She, she always tries to console Arthur. Me. What do you mean? I don't know, but whenever we happen to meet, you're always helping people and smiling. 
I had a son. Who? He passed away. Wait, Arthur had a son? Had a girl who loved me, I threw that away. My mama died when I was a kid. And my daddy. Well, I watched him die. And it weren't soon enough. My husband died a long time ago. Life is full of pain. But there is also love and beauty. Uh, what am I gonna do now? Be grateful that for the first time, you see your life clearly. <laughs> sure. Perhaps you could help somebody. Help him makes you really happy. <sighs> but I still don't believe in nothing. <laughs> Often, neither do I. <laughs> but then I meet someone like you, and everything makes sense. <laughs> You're too smart for me, sister. <laughs> I am Max Honor. I've helped so many yes, people. Sir. I might have accidentally killed a couple, but I'm uh... afraid. There is nothing to be afraid of, Mr. Morgan. Take a gamble that love exists. And do a loving act. All aboard. I shall oh. try. I know you will. Goodbye. Goodbye, Mr. Morgan. Goodbye. Sister. The fine art of conversation <laughs> okay man okay okay so i get the health items i get the accuracy i i i i suppose i i would have got i'm probably like like a minute off so I, let's just say you got this but no 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 kill a pursuer's horse not the horsey man you can't make me kill a horsey I'll still collect whatever I'm doing. Greetings. Good to see you. Okay, I guess not. Oh, bounty. It's from bounty. Okay, well. Uh, I am going to not load. I, why, why do I keep doing that? Uh, I'm going to... Why do I have two saves? Overwrite this and uh, goodbye.